All right, we're now at the heat treating process of the slip joint. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you uh, where we ended up on the handle scales real quickly uh, with milling the relief in for the blade ting. Uh, we cut them basically even on both sides, uh, about ten thousandths or so. You could go probably a little deeper if you wanted to, but that should be enough to keep the uh, end of the blade from scratching. So uh, right now I've got the back springs uh, cleaned up and deburred and in the oven. Uh, they're cooking right now at 1475 degrees Fahrenheit uh, for about 8 to 10 minutes to give ample time for everything to get into solution. Uh, I'm not going to go into a real exhaustive explanation uh, of what I'm doing here or what's happening with the heat treat. Uh, this is just the method I'm using. Uh, bring it up to critical temperature dunk it in my engineered Parks 50 quenchant and then I go ahead and stick them immediately in the tempering oven at 400 uh, for about 90 minutes uh, for one cycle take it out cool them and do another hour to an hour and a half uh, at 400 again so uh, if you need to learn more about uh, how to heat treat uh, blade steels I'd encourage you to go to the heat treating forum at knifedogs.com uh, there's plenty of discussion on blade forums and uh, even the Steel Dust Junkies forum on uh, the usual suspect network. Uh, guys that know far more about it than I uh, can ever pretend to know and who can probably explain things better. Uh, I'm just going to kind of show you a, a real rough overview of what I'm doing. And uh, I may film the quench and uh, then we'll call that good uh, as far as the heat treat section. Uh, just to understand uh, that I do recommend... Uh, at least a couple hour to 90 minute tempering cycles. Uh, some guys recommend even more than that. But uh, I've always found that to be relatively sufficient. And uh, then once those are done, I'll go ahead and uh, draw the temper back even a little bit more on the back springs uh, using a hand torch. And uh, I'll show that process as well. But uh, right now I'm going to set the camera back up on the tripod uh, just to show you the quench as I'm sure some of you may be interested in seeing that. And uh, from there it'll go to the temper cycle and uh, it'll just be a matter of waiting uh, until the next step. So stay tuned. Alright again at this point the back springs have been cooking in the oven for about 8 to 10 minutes at 1475. Uh, this is going to be one real quick and hopefully fluid motion uh, into the quench tank uh, in order to quench it. And, uh, then we'll kind of clean it up and stick it in the uh, tempering oven at 400. still a little hot I'll just give it a quick eyeball to make sure nothing warped or bent at all uh, you can usually straighten it up a little bit by hand uh, before it takes a permanent set and uh, becomes more of a pain to straighten out so uh, now it's quenched I'll go ahead and dunk it in my water bucket just to cool it to room temperature and uh, everything looks pretty good. So uh, this will go in the temper oven. I'll set that aside. Uh, I already did the other spring off camera. So we'll go ahead and stick the blades in right now. And uh, obviously now is a good time to uh, double check that your nail mix, your holes are all in place, uh, that you've done pretty much everything you want to do uh, before it's going to be a lot harder to do it. Such as any shaping or grinding drilling, cutting. This is kind of the point of no return unless you have some very expensive carbide tooling. Stick the door in place and we'll start the timer for 10 minutes. Uh, do the same process, quench and then right into the temper oven. 
All right, guys, just a real quick follow-up on the heat treat. Uh, it is complete. We did do uh, two full temper cycles at 400 degrees uh, for about an hour and a half to even two hours apiece. Uh, so I know I have a full uh, even temper on these. And uh, there's still one more process uh, involving the back springs. Uh, they're not quite uh, tempered back to where I need them yet uh, to have a good spring temper to them. And uh, at their current hardness, uh, it's possible that they would break after repeated opening and closings and uh, be a little bit stiff as well. So uh, I still need to draw temper uh, those back. I'll use a hand torch for that. Uh, I've got a small map gas torch uh, that does it pretty quickly. And uh, another option would be to stick them in my oven at about 660 to 670 degrees. And that uh, should give them a nice uh, blue or purple tint. Uh, but again, I could do it uh, much quicker and just as easily with a hand torch. So uh, after I get things uh, set up, I'm actually going to surface these, take the scale off of everything. Uh, get them somewhat nice and polished and th the same thickness uh, and then I'll go ahead and do the tempering process on the spring. So uh, our next step is going to be to set up at the surface grinder uh, again in order to take the scale off, uh, polish them up and get them nice and flat and parallel and uh, we'll resume video there.